Hey, Walt Bear here. Walt is such a cool and unique unit, and his value keeps on getting better with new unit releases. So it's time for that update. Now's especially a good time because one synergy I'd like to talk about today is Acheron, whose Nihility synergy is a big talking point. I'll recap his kit in less than a minute, then explain why he's so strong by explaining how his action delay and slow works, and when to use it. I'll then give you his new best builds with the new 2.0 relics and the new 2.1 planar ornaments. And then I'll talk about his brand new synergies. I'll also be discussing Walt's suit to sustain and his build in this video. It's a niche but cool strategy that I've started mentioning more of ever since 1.5, but I've never really made a video on it. So like and sub if this video helped, and let's get straight into it. Let's start with a kit recap. Skip forward if you know what he does. Walt's basics are basic. Walt's skill is a bounce attack, targeting one enemy, and then hitting two more times on random enemies. On every hit, it has a chance to slow enemies. His ultimate is fully AoE, doing some damage and having a chance to imprison enemies for one turn. This will delay their action and slow them, stacking with the skill's slow. His talent will give him additional damage procs every hit of his abilities versus slowed enemies. These can crit. His skill can thus proc it three times and his ultimate two times per enemy it hits, as it has a two hit distribution. His technique is a dimension technique that does a weaker imprison from his ult, but applies it on every wave to all the enemies upon entering combat for one turn. He will apply a universal damage taken debuff to enemies and also regenerates 10 extra energy upon ulting. He also does more damage to enemies with their weakness broken. For any Eidolon damage increases, these are the calculations provided by NL Rem, a Welt enthusiast theory crafter who also provided some expert Welt gameplay. The most notable ones are the E2 for those easier ultimates and E6 for giant damage increase, though I do enjoy E4 which helps with quality of life. So what makes this kit stand out? His damage is decent and you can and most of the time will run him as a hyper carry. However, his imaginary element alongside his slows and delays give him pseudo sustain potential that you can abuse in his own hyper carry team but also use in dual DPS setups. Pseudo sustain Welt would be replacing your sustain with Welt and it can work very well into imaginary weak stages, decently into non-imaginary weak stages but should not be used into enemies with high CC or debuff res unless you plan on resetting a bunch. Many bosses have 50% CC or debuff res which are a multiplicative reduction to your normal debuff chances on your imprisonment and break imprisonment. If your team is very overpowered though, you might be able to make it work regardless, but at that point it wouldn't have been Walt that carried the team. So just the same Walt also has a bit of trouble generating energy since you can't skill as much. This build also requires high investment into your team, requiring your DPS to carry in damage before the enemies attack too much because whilst he can delay them a ton, he can't delay them indefinitely in most cases. Your harmony units will also want to be very chunky in HP. So how does delay function? Delay is the opposite version of advance, and we know how strong Spark when Bronya's advance can be. Since delays can't get you extra turns though, it doesn't offer a giant damage increase like advance does. Instead, it can let you get extra attacks on an enemy before they move. This provides some damage gains if you have debuffs or if they are broken, as these damage modifiers will now be up for way more of your DPS attacks. But the biggest help is how it boosts your survivability. Enemies have action value just like us, and most enemies in the endgame sit at 158.4 speed. They must consume 10,000 action gauge to take a turn just like us. What a delay does is add action gauge to said enemy. In the case of Walt's level 10 ultimate, they now must consume 14,000 action gauge, changing their normal AV from 63 to 88 which is basically like them having 113 speed for this turn. But Walt doesn't just delay, it is then compounded with the ultimate slow, making that 14,000 AG even harder to consume, pushing their AV for that turn to 98. He also has his skill slow, 110 AV now. Now let's consider breaks. If the enemy is imaginary weak, they shouldn't really be moving with Walt on the field. Not only does breaking toughness apply a 25% delay, or 2,500 more action gauge, Imaginary Break applies an additional 30% on top of another 10% speed reduction. This delay scales with Break Effect 2. So if we consider his skill, ultimate, and an Imaginary Break, the enemy will be delayed by 95% and have a 30% slow. They will need to take 176 AV for their next turn, or nearly 3 times as long as usual, giving them an effective speed of 58 and pushing them a whole cycle away. It's disgusting. Now since speed and AV are constantly changing, you want your slows to hit at the best moment. 
and that is when an enemy just finished their turn, as they reset their AV and these consume 10,000 AG with that big slow. If you delay them just before they take a turn, they've already consumed most of their action gauge and the slow will not be very impactful and more of a waste, though the delay itself will have the same value whenever you use it. Now this combines with Walt's special power and out of turn imprisonment. In the case of a two attack action from an enemy, this will cancel their second action when successfully applied. They will only end up doing one attack the very first and it will force them to end their turn. Not only do you cancel a devastating attack or ability, you will also get the most value possible out of your slow. Timing Walt's ultimate depends on the enemy scenario. Ulting in the middle of the Butter's 2 attack action provides the most value for your slow and drastically reduces the enemy's power. Ulting before in the case of low health allies can be fine too though. This is because unless you're using it to cancel enemy actions, the delay is just as strong no matter when you use it, only the slow is not. Then another example is if you are about to beat the enemies in the first wave, you should then save it for a great first turn in the second wave. There's a lot of fun strategy involved for maximum efficiency. For his best relics, he now has a more efficient domain to farm with an easier passive to upkeep. Pioneer is his new best in slot, but not by far in an optimal setup, so no need to refarm if you're already balling on a nice imaginary set. For two-piece combos, two-piece Pioneer is now a better imaginary two-piece and works with things like Tingyan's Benediction as a nice bonus. Attack percent two-piece combos, the imaginary set, and hacker two-piece all work as sets you can mix and match. For plain ornaments, the brand new Izumo set, and I hope I said that right, is his best when you have a secondary Nihility unit on the team. This can be Silver Wolf, Gwenaifen, or Repella, or Akron if you are running him as a pseudo sustain sub DPS. Glamoth is also a tiny bit better now than Space Saving Station, but you'd have to reach the 135 speed threshold, so it really depends on your teams and what you want to farm. Izumo is paired with the Sigonia Pure Fiction set, which can be really nice to bolster your DPS's planars, or you can try for Penaconi with Glamoth to help out your supports. For main stats, you want Crit Body, Speed or Attack Percent Boots, Imaginary Damage Percent Orb, and an Attack Percent Rope. For a stat goal, you want a 70 to 140 ratio, 2.75k attack at least, speed depending on what you prefer, and 43% effect hit rate. These values can change depending on your cone and are without any buffs. Full effect hit rate explanations can be found in my original 1.3 world guide, but basically on DPS Walt you lose too much damage for that effect hit rate, especially when considering the fact that most imaginary weak 40% F res enemies have CC or debuff res, so you can't guarantee your debuffs even at 67%. Your slow chances are always going to be low regardless of 43-67% to 67 and with your 3 hits and alt slow, your talent should have good uptime anyway. Flycone's new best Lycone is in fact Acheron's along the passing shore. 2.0 and 2.1 just swap up everything for him. The crit damage is nice, the extra debuff is great for Pioneer and the damage percent bonus and base stats make it a great cone in general. Though not far behind is patience is all you need and incessant rain if you pulled them for him or by accident. And of course good night sleep wall s5 is always a good option and so is his signature. Good night sleep wall s1 beats out loop so swap to it as soon as possible. For a supportive wall that focuses more on sustain you can go for that extra bit of effect hit rate and you'll want to go for an energy rope. Speed boots should always be used for pseudo sustain world and you can opt for more speed over attack percent or crit if you really want in substance. Break effect technically increases break delay, but you'd have to make sure you break, and your carry would really need to pop off to compensate for your weaker damage. Break is also only useful into imaginary weak, and that's why NL Realm does not recommend going for extra break in stats. Going Pioneer is still good as you'll still be doing damage, but a 2 hacker combo works nicely as well. A 5% energy planar is also recommended for some rotations, and Sprightly Vonwack can let him act incredibly early on the first wave where your ult is at its most needed, since you can always save your next ult for the second wave. For supportive bots like cones, we have Tutorial, Incessant Rain, or Resolution Shines as his best options. Tutorial can give faster ultimates for his sustaining power, and the two other cones provide some nice damage amp, with Resolution synergizing with additional Death Shred like Pella. Speaking of faster ultimate rotations, let's check them out. Walt without external energy help will hit a 3 to 4 turn ultimate with an attack percent rope with it being guaranteed 3 turns when swapping to an energy rope. It's less damage than an attack percent one, but provides utility and survivability if you ever need that. 
If you have an energy rope and want him to be very SP positive, you'll need one skill and three basics. You want to skill now and then anyway for that slow. When you add Tutorial Light Cone into the mix versus enemies with Death Shred, we can hit a 2 skill rotation with an energy rope and 5% energy planar. We can even go for a 3 turn 1 with 1 skill and 2 basics only needing an energy planar set. Tutorial Light Cone will be in the case you run Welt as a pseudo sustain and use a defense reducing ally like Pella or Silverwolf. With E2 in the mix, your rotations become much quicker and you should always run attack percent rope when going for DPS Welt. With Tutorial, we can now hit a 2 turn rotation whilst being SP neutral, which is kind of massive for sustained Welt. If you want to ult ASAP on Welt in the first wave, you'll need to do 2 skills as a DPS, or a skill and a basic with an energy rope and a 5% energy planar set. This is why Bonwack can be nice to get those first 2 turns before most enemies can act when paired with a Sparkle or a Bronya. So let's talk about synergies. Of course, he can run as a hypercarry and all the usual harmony options are great for him. Since my video in 1.3, we have some new synergies. Warhawk can help out for quicker ultimates whilst retaining that attack percent rope for hypercarry Walt if you do run a sustain with him. Ratio opens up Walt dual DPS teams with the two. It is a bit tricky SP wise, but Walt can provide enough debuffs alone for Ratio, especially with a resolution light cone. Versus imaginary weak content, you should have enough toughness damage to obliterate toughness bars, and you could opt for no sustain. Romy in 1.6 brings the sustain power even more so, with her delays, break effect increase, and break efficiency. Her damage boosting buffs are strong, but even more so in dual DPS. She's a great unit for hypercarry and dual DPS wall compositions. In 2.0, Sparkle released, providing a brand new harmony option. Ronya is immense for world, but has SB issues. And so Sparkle is just much easier to use and brings the ability to run better teammate options for overall more damage. You can also run her in a dual DPS team just like a raw May, but it requires more strategy to choose who to boost forward. Misha works for dual DPS Walt teams, especially with raw May for that no sustained life. Now in 2.1, we have Akron, Aventurine, and Gallagher. Aventurine and Gallagher provide debuffs for Pioneer and should be nice sustains. Now, Acheron is a brand new hypercarry and she absolutely wants debuffs. With Walt being able to debuff every turn, even with basics when considering a resolution cone, he can be a nice sub DPS for Acheron. Acheron will gain ultimate charges every time a debuff is applied, once in the case of AoE ones. She also has a trace that really wants two Nihility units in her team, though an OP Harmony could replace one of these. What this creates are now two options. First, you run him as the second Nihility slot with a sustain. That's simple, but in my opinion, Gwenaifen will offer more damage increase. The second option is to run him as the second Nihility slot as him acting as a pseudo sustain. This allows you to complete the two Nihility slots, get tons of debuffs for Akron, and let her use an OP Harmony unit. This can be Ruan Mei for more survivability, or Sparkle or Bronya for more Akron turns. Akron can thus be run with attack percent boots with Sparkle, go tons of times and gain her own charges, and do so much damage the enemy should be dead before any issues arise. Walt Suda Sustain is a high investment option but can be amazing in some cases. Remember again though, it isn't perfect and isn't easy to run. I hope you all enjoyed this update on Welt. If you did, like and sub and let me know below your Welt build. Thanks to my amazing YouTube members, thanks for watching and have a good day.